CDC just released a new study showing that natural immunity from COVID-19 compared to vaccinated immunity conferred equal protection from hospitalization and reinfection during Delta. This is possibly big news for public health policy. So in this video, we'll go over the important figures from the study and then we'll talk about what this means for future public health measures against the virus. Before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell in the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Also, click my social links in the description if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack, Patreon, if you're interested. Anyways, let's get into this. So I ripped apart this whole study in my new Substack post, and I'll post a link about it below. Check it out and see the in-depth analysis on this. I will, however, pull up my publication on this so we can go over it together. So give me one sec, hold on here. Okay, so if you look here, this data was released in CDC's Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report. Basically, that's the CDC's Public Epidemiologic Digest. They basically give data about public health trends on here and other things. Now, let me scroll down here, starting at the first bullet point. This study looked at COVID-19 data in California and New York between May and November of 2021. It looked to compare chances of hospitalization and reinfection based on people who are either unvaccinated with no previous infection, unvaccinated with previous COVID infection, vaccinated with no previous infection, and then of course vaccinated and also having the infection previously. Let me scroll down to the fifth and sixth bullet points here. Look at the second bolded area, unvaccinated with prior infection, which is essentially natural immunity, right? That group's protection from reinfection compared to the group never being vaccinated or never being infected, which is a control, was 29-fold lower in California and 14.7 fold lower in New York. But look at how similar the protection is right below. From being vaccinated with prior infection, number three, it's identical. That means chances of reinfection in those vaccinated or naturally immune were identical. Now, the same thing from bullet point number six below this. Let me highlight this real quick. But bullet point number six is the protection from hospitalization. However, what we were just looking at was reinfection. Again, here, the protection is simply identical in both groups, vaccinated or unvaccinated. Now, let me just show you a graph. The visual will make it a lot easier to understand. Hold on one sec, let me scroll down here, one sec. Now, as you can see here, the lines on the x-axis are at the bottom of this graph. They're similar. They indicate chances of being hospitalized, whether vaccinated with or without previous infection, or unvaccinated with previous infection are similar. All of that means the estimated hazard rate of hospitalization with Delta was nearly the same in those vaccinated compared to previously infected and not vaccinated. So this is a strong case for natural immunity. This does not mean go out and get infected because there are serious side effects associated with COVID-19. If you want to get vaccinated, okay. On the other hand, if you really want to gamble with the virus, that's on you, but it's not advisable. I'll tell you personally, I was crippled by COVID for 12 months. I got sick and then I had long COVID on top of that. This was back when there were no vaccines available, but this is America, so the choice is yours. I'm not saying what will happen to me will happen to you. I'm simply saying things happen. Let me scroll to the bottom of this graph one second. Now, as you can see, this graph shows which brand, Moderna, Pfizer, or J&J, provided the best protection against reinfection. And of course, that's Moderna. Moderna is two 100 microgram doses compared to two 30 microgram Pfizer doses. And J&J is clearly not looking so hot, which is why it's no longer recommended. So what does all of this mean for public health policy? Well, if you were lucky enough to survive the virus, natural immunity needs to be considered right up there with vaccination by public health officials, schools, and jobs. In other words, it should be equal. I feel it goes against the public's best interest and also diminishes confidence in public health officials if that idea isn't eventually adopted in light of the new data. Anyways, those are the facts. We still need more data on this, but if there's anything you would like to learn about in the future, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one.